Lesson 6 homework. Number 1. For the following problems, draw a picture using the rectangular fraction model and write the answer. Simplify your answer if possible. So we have 1 minus 5 sixths. So I'm going to have 1 whole minus 5 sixths. So my one whole, if we're working with 5 sixths, I'm going to turn this into 6 sixths. Just so I have the common denominator there. And we have 1 whole minus 5 sixths. So if I get rid of, on my one whole, if I subtract 1 6, 2 6, 3 6, 4 6, 5 sixths, I have 1 sixth left. So it was really, it was just saying 6 6 minus 5 6 equals 1 6. 3 halves minus 5 6. So 3 halves is really 1 and 1 half. So what I'm going to draw is a whole and a half. So we had 2 halves, 3 halves minus 5 6. And what we need to do is find a common denominator for 2 and 6. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 6, 12, 18, 24. So I listed the multiples of 2 and 6. Now their least common multiple is 6, which means I'm going to leave this 5 6 alone. And I'm going to turn the 3 halves into 6 so in order to change 2 into 6, I need to multiply it by 3. So I'm going to split it in thirds, which makes it into sixths. So if I want to take away 5 sixths, so everything's broken into 6 now, I'm going to take away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sixths, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4 sixths left. So we had... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 6, minus 5, 6, that ended up being 4, 6. Now if we reduced 4, 6, we would get 2 thirds. 4 thirds minus 5 sevenths. So if we have, there's 1, 2, 3 thirds, we need a 4 third. minus, I'm going to do it down here, 5 sevenths. Now we need to find a common denominator for 3 and 7. Don't see one yet. Okay, 21 will be our common denominator. So in order to split the thirds into 21st, I'm going to need 3 times 7 is 21. So I'm going to split these into 7ths. And in order to break the 7ths into 21st, I need to break it into thirds. So here I have, this is 21 21st, and this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 21st. So together that ends up being 28 21st, minus, here we'll have 1, 2, 3, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 groups of it. So that would be 15 21st if we subtract those. You can draw the x's on there if you want, or you can just subtract. Now that we can just do 28 minus 15 is 13 21st, and that cannot be reduced. 1 and 1 eighth. Okay. 
So we're gonna have eight eighths as the one. So that ends up being nine eighths minus three fifths. Now we need to find a common denominator for eight and five. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, still don't see one, 35, there it is, 40. So in order to break my eighths here into 40ths, I'm going to need to split them into fifths. So I'm going to have, get rid of this 9 eighths. This is 40 fortieths, and this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 fortieths. So we have 45 fortieths that we're going to subtract from, or we're going to subtract something from that. We need to figure out if we break the fifths into fortieths, I need to break this into eighths. So we'll have 8 fortieths, eight, eight 16 fortieths, 24 fortieths. So if we do 45 fortieths minus 24 fortieths, 45 minus 24 is 21 fortieths. E, 1 and 2 fifths minus 3 fourths. So we have 1 and 2 fifths, so this is going to be 5 fifths. Minus 3 fourths. Common denominator for five and four. It's going to be 20. In order to break the fifths into 20ths, I need to break this into fourths. And we'll have 20 20ths here, and this is 8 20ths. So together that's 28 twentieths that we're going to subtract from. Once we break this fourths into twentieths, we need to use fifths. So I'll have 15 twentieths. 28 twentieths minus 15 twentieths is 13 twentieths. 1 and 5 sixths. So this is going to be in six. So we have our whole as our one. And then we have five six minus seven eighths. Okay, once they get really small like this, we're going to have to try and remember where all the lines were. So 1 and 5, 6, let's first find a common denominator for 6 and 8. Okay, so we can use 24. Now this was broken into 6, so 6 times 4 is 24, so I'm going to make it into fourths. So 
So here we have 24 24 fourths, And here we have 1, 2, 3, 4. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rows of them. So 5 rows of 4 would be 20 24 fourths. So that is 44 24 fourths. And we're going to subtract that from. It's broken into eighths. That times 3 is 24. I'm going to split it into thirds. Each row has 3, and there's 7 rows of them. So 3 times 7 is 21 24. If we subtract those, we have, let's do 44 minus 21, we have 23 24. 9 sevenths minus 3 fourths. Okay, so we have 7 sevenths here. 8 sevenths, 9 sevenths, minus 3 fourths, and then let's find our common denominator. Don't see it yet. So there it is, 28. To break sevenths into 28ths, I need to split them into fourths. So that's 28 28ths. Split this one into fourths, and we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 28ths. So together, that's 36 28ths minus, if I have the fourths and break it into sevenths, I'll get twenty-eighths. Is that sevenths? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep. So I'll have twenty-one twenty-eighths, and that is equal to fifteen twenty-eighths. 1 and 3 twelfths minus 2 thirds. Well, what I see here is 3 twelfths I can reduce. So what I'm going to change this to is, because I looked at it and thought twelfths, like I don't want to split something into twelfths. It's going to take a long time and it's going to be really difficult to look at. So I'm going to change this 3 twelfths. I can divide both 3 and 12 by 3. And when I reduce it, I get 1, 3 divided by 3 is 1, 12 divided by 3 is 4. So this is really 1 and 1 fourth minus 2 thirds. And that's the problem I'm going to solve to make it easier to draw. So we have 1 and 1 fourth. minus two-thirds. Now, if I find my common denominator for four and three, it's going to be twelve. And if I break fourths into twelfths, I need to split it into thirds here to get twelfths. So I'll have 12 twelfths, and then here I'll have 3 twelfths, so together that's 15 twelfths, minus, if I break this thirds into twelfths, I'll have 8 twelfths, and that is equal to 7 twelfths.
Number two, Sam had one and one half meters of rope. He cut off five eighths and used it for a project. How much rope does Sam have left? So we had one and one half. There's one and one half, he cuts off five eighths. So our common denominator for two and eight would be eight. And that means that I can leave this five eighths alone. I just need to break this into eighths. So to make two into eight, I need to split into fourths. And I'll have, that's eight eighths plus four eighths gives me 12 eighths. And if I take away five eighths, you can either just do 12 eighths minus five eighths is seven eighths, or we can take off in our picture five eighths and we're left with seven eighths. So there's our seven eighths in our model. Number three, Jackson had one and three eighths kilograms of fertilizer. He used some to fertilize a flower bed and he only had two thirds of a kilogram left. How much was used in the flower bed? So he starts out with one and three eighths. So he has a hole. So there's one and, our, one and three eighths. And then when he was done, he only had two thirds left. So let's figure out how much he used by subtracting. To find our common denominator, eight and three. Nothing yet. All right, finally, 20 fourths. And if we take the eighths and make it into 20 fourths, I'm gonna need to split it into thirds. So I'll have 24 20 fourths. And then here I have three groups of three. So that's nine 20 fourths. I add those together and get 33 20 fourths. And then if I break these thirds into 20 fourths, I need to make this eighths. And I'll have 16 20 fourths. So 33 minus 16 is 17 20 fourths kilogram is what he used for the flower bed.